thinking about bringing the sticker back for one more round, maybe. That's what she said. This is cool, okay. So one of the advantages of, you know, I'm making mistakes here, like, not mistakes, like I did this on purpose, but I gotta take a road where I know it may not result in much, but it is, so far it's, it's going, might turn out to be okay. Like as far as tree structures go, it's very difficult. In fact, if here, of anything, things are starting to look a little better. I was going to show you, you got to see where I've come from and how high up I am. So about where these flat tops are, but the top of the world, I call it. It doesn't get much higher. The only thing higher for, peop that, for people here are the 14ers, like where you have to climb. Where you could ride a bike, it doesn't get any bigger, right? There's nothing up there. I'm like, man. Like, I'm going, I'm riding and riding and riding, I mean, over rocks. And I've actually really been enjoying the trail ride. It's one of the coolest trails I've been on. Usually, I like, I'm on, I'm on dirt roads a lot. And, oh, I heard thunder. It's not supposed to rain. It's always like this up here. There's thunder out there, over there. Um, check this out. You guys, this is done on a scale that's, that's it's, the, it's the most ridiculous thing. I've seen it up here before when I was with Brandon. Look at this. The biggest scale, you guys, these are like six to eight feet in circumference. If the video's not picking it up right, okay? It's all of their system. Look, make no mistake. Oh, it smelled like... I smelled weed for, like, I for a second, I thought I smelled marijuana. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Not burning, but, like, growing. But I think it's just all these weeds. No, I don't think Bigfoot smokes pot. Pot is definitely a, a human construct. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Look at, look at the field goal you guys. This is one thing I do like about the cell phone is that uh, you can tell there's a spot right there. There has been in the past. This is... You know, because most of us really, we don't know how we know, but I'm will. I would lay, if we had to bet, like it was just for fun, I would be willing to like things about like, have to do with like wine or marijuana or beer. I, I'd be willing to bet that there's those versions of that. If not exactly that, over there, you know, something very similar. You know, maybe not where I am, or but you know, just on that side, the more sophisticated places. It's huge, you guys. It's like freezing. They said, it said it's going to be 84. Like it was literally, I was already getting hot down below before I started climbing. When I say down below, I started climbing at 8,000. Now more like no, I started climbing around 7,000. It's like in other words, where I start to go up is 7,000, and it's hot down there at 7,000. Then you get up here and you're freezing. I was like, should I bring a sweatshirt just in case? I'm like, no, because I'm not going to use it. Looks like I never do. I could use it today. Mostly because I'm also not in sun. So if the sun was out, it would be, you, you couldn't have a better day. It'll go up five or 10 degrees. And I might get some of it here and there. These big clouds. What do you think about that? That, that structure I just showed you. It's pretty fascinating. It's going to keep me going, actually. I saw this. That looked really cool from a distance. I was like, wow, we're getting somewhere. It's like a, yeah, it used to be like a, you know, King Tonetta. Not King Tonetta, you know, someone. I believe some of these things used to be something, especially because of how unique and high up these areas. There's nowhere like this, this high upwards. It almost looks like I'm lower because it's so flat. There's not many places like this in Colorado. Notice how no trees are growing. It's all rock. I just think I'm very suspicious of these areas for, from today to two million years ago. Of ancient times had a, used to have a big uh, building on top of it or something. You know, that's what it looked like from a distance. I get there, it's not, I get here, it's not so exciting but i really really have my eye out for 
old landscapes, like things that, you know, could have been something a long time ago. I don't know why we, we, we tend to ignore that, you know. A lot of these places up here, like that, that's that, up down, that's that unique thing I was showing you. Where they, I feel like there could be a building up there. Well, it's these patches inside, remember I showed you last year inside these patches? Not here, but I was up in this region. I'm on this tributary road that goes 10 miles away from there up here. I had no idea that it was possible. So that's what I'm doing. And I just want to show you, like from here to there on the camera, just while I ride, so you can see just how amazing this is. Oh wow, this brings me to the edge. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna bring my camera back over here. My good camera. It's a brutal ride to get here. It takes about two hours from my house to get here. Hold on. Oh goodness gracious. Oh god, one hand didn't. Oh no. One hand, one hand, one hand. Can't drop phone. Oh shit. The, 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 these XRs have very tall, I think, I forget the inches on the front tire. And you gotta be careful because they really, they like to get hung up in spots like that. Look at this, guys. I did it, look at the rocks all sticking out of the grass. So that's why there's structures back there. I'm right at the edge. Can, let me get to, whoa, let me get to the end here. You know what guys, check this out. This is amazing, look at this. I mean, just, you guys, I'm, I'm happy with this just for the visuals, like how beautiful it is here. That's my job too, like it's, it's not very often. Like, you know what I mean, where I'm like, okay, that's pretty, I'll show you like a mountain or like a go like this or something. Yeah, I do this a lot, but like where I, where I actually get a landscape that's that gorgeous, wait till I turn around, you guys, wait for this, okay? I just wanna show you how unique that one rock is that's there all by itself. Right, and if you look in the back, you'll see you got you got your marks. I can't I can't see much going on. I'm not sure how they're doing it back there. I didn't go into the forest there, but man, is it weird and different? Because where I, where I was showing you earlier, so I'll either put that clip in now or I already showed you. You guys, 85 today in town. It feels like the winter up here. I'm exaggerating. It's cold. I'm cold. You guys here, I, I believe this is it. I've been, it's been a, over two years now, but I haven't shown you much, but boy, have I been watching. And I showed you that hut. I don't have the same zoom and I don't have my camera, so I can't even show you, but in there I showed you that incredible hut looking thing, right? The, it's, you can't get there. So I want to explain Th this valley over here is incredibly hidden because it goes straight down. It's, it's actually about a half a mile wide from right there to right there. And it goes a mile down, so it goes about a mile like that, and then a mile back up. It's very deceiving. Like, why didn't you just go over there? And you, it's unnavigable. It goes straight down and then straight up. There's no, absolutely no way you'd have to be there in some way like this. And it took me 17 miles on, on a road that we made recently. There is no roads over there. And I, so what I'm trying to say is I believe this is untouched. They've been adjusting to us, and over there, there's no adjustments. It's... Simply one of the most fascinating places I've ever seen. I think what I got to do over there is, is and I, I, it's my least favorite thing to do, is sit right here in the trunk and just stay so steady and really just not even to catch that, but just really try to just to get some landscape shots because it's, it's that incredible in there. And I it's so good. I bet you will we'll probably see some movement, things like that. It's so amazing. I was over there looking at that. And I was explaining it's a mile this way, a mile like that. So there, here's the mile, but it's a, it, this is finally getting like this. It's, it's like this until you get here. And then it finally opens up. This is something special.
of the radar. I can get, uh, I push things to the extreme. I go places where I know I might not come back that day. Hold on a second, I'm gonna sneeze. Yes! Sorry, forgive me. <laughs> I should have paused it. <laughs> thank you. Whoever said bless you, thank you. Have you said gazoon tight? I have no idea. idea what that means. Gesundheit. Isn't that German or something? You guys gotta see this. This is all rock. I'm parked on rock. Look at that. It's almost paved, but it's just natural stone because this is the top of one of the places they live in. Look, you guys, there's another example of kind of what I'm standing. Whoa. Where I'm standing. It's all marked. So that, that's kind of what it looks like, except this one looks way cooler. The, the front here, I just can't show you yet. I don't know if I'm going to show you. What I, what I do want to show you is how the top seems to be, like, big time affected. Look at this place, you guys. i got to get my camera up here. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. I'm going to come in here. This is, this is my least favorite video because it's work. It's, like, really, not work, but it's, like, really hard to zoom and sit there for, like, an hour. And the bushes and flies and stuff but this is the place i can do it right at the car but this i want to do it here i want to get into spots like over there but not just from here i want to after a while like because right now they're they're on high alert once i'm chilling after a half an hour inside those bushes if things change as you can see that looks a little bit funky you gotta go down i don't have my gun i'm gonna try to I have it, but I don't have it, like, it's having the only like, I don't think I need it up here. Although, the, the name of the road is Bear Something. <laughs> but they just run. They don't, they won't bother me. I'll kick his ass. You can't really see. There's like a, there is an inside in there. All right, so I won't take you down. I, I just want to walk in the top. It's all marked. We can't figure it out. X there. Tried it for sure. Look how beautiful. Top. This is like 13.5. Something like that. It's like the last place you see green and things growing. All right, let me let me just show you the top, okay, real quick. Not exciting, but it's very important. See how marked this is, because I want I want to wait. I might I might go way out in there, you guys. I got to come back here before the end of the summer. I should say before it snows. Not right here, just up here somewhere. <laughs> I haven't even gone. I'm gonna go further today. I'm literally two hours. If nothing goes wrong, riding fairly aggressively two hours. So he, you, see what you see what you see? Look, so that, that one comes out, right? It's very boring, but it comes all the way out, right? There's another one next to it. Quartz, and then you have structures, which is a trident. You can just tell. You guys know. Just by looking at it, they did it. And then, that's the other thing. If people would just give it a chance, they would see very... They would feel really dumb with all their comments very quickly, because... There's well, there is none really. There's only what I'm talking about is like one. There's like one comment every five videos, and then, so that I'm, when, I, when I mean all the comments, I mean you know like over the years. It's very few, few negative. So yeah, you, know, you, you, know, you do tend to you know take it too seriously some days. Just, you shouldn't see this. Can't explain it. I can't even make up a reason why. They they, they have to show you they're there. These are huge trees right there. I mean, this was beautiful. Like, they really don't care about that part of it. Another one leaning up. It's a trident. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be completely honest with you guys. I don't, I don't sit here and try to be your guru. You know what I mean? Like, maybe some days, like, it depends what I'm doing, but, 
like on this, I, I don't know. I'm just good at finding them. I'm not, I can't decipher every situation. In fact, I can't even make up something. I can't even make up a reason why I think they would be putting those tridents up like that. You know, there's there's something to it. You can see they do it everywhere here. Look, I'm not going to go down any further. All those have, uh, like, see, that's not a trident, but at the base of it has a trident leaning on it. You see that black one? It's it's a trident. I saw it on my butt. This is this is a trident. So what what that mean? Okay, so I can make it up because what that means is. I've only seen this one other place where, see how they're gapped? What, what it means there is that those are individual seats for one big guy. I've, I've actually seen him with my own eyes. A lot, a lot of you know the story. And he, that's a giant X coming out. And every time the trident came out, it led to where he, was, where he would, would come from. Or where his seat was. Let's file this one in. I got an arch. Tell you the view is something special here, and there's a seat right at the arch. There's your seat right there, and which means there's more. Everything's a trident in here. Like if you look carefully, it's all tridents. Not all, but a lot of tridents. Trident, and it's all coming out of there, right here. But for no reason, because there's the grass right there. You know, that's the thing. I don't get it. These are simply just spots. They're, they're, it's marking. You know, I don't know. So the only thing I could come up with here, and it doesn't look like that's happening all the time. It's definitely happening because it would it would be like this. These weeds are growing so fast, you guys. They have such a short lifespan here. They get to live for a couple months. It's a... <coughs> that's the one thing is that they each of those are a spot. I might actually be very right about that. I just can't. <clears throat> this is only the second place that I've definitively see that. <clears throat> the first one being so incredibly blatant that I'm not that make no mistake mistake about it. In fact, I showed a little bit of that recently, a clip of it. So these these are just spots right here. Let's just look at one more. Look at this. This one has been here. It looks like a long time to try to. This is a structure here. Well, I'm glad I walked in here. This is bigger here. Okay. Seat down there? Used to be, maybe? Right there. Yeah, there's, there's one right there. It's just that these weeds come up so fast. I don't think they've been there this summer. Not in, my, not in the way I like to see it. You can see all the sticks in there. Bed and triangles and stuff. This is literally a structure. It's not just a trident can't explain it much more than that but one thing i can assure you is that beings of the unseen world did that that's one thing i can promise you trident okay this isn't a mistake in fact the only thing they're worried about here is something that looks like a trident see like if you get the rock like that they, they, they lose their minds and they have to mark it <laughs> as soon as it's like this beautiful rock face there's something to that as landscapes, you guys. Look, look above it. It looks like a teepee structure from here. Where is it? Right there. It's a teepee structure. You would think this would be seasonal up here. I mean... This this kind of landscape, you guys, this is one in a billion. I mean, like I know there's look, I know there's places out of the United States that dwarf that make Colorado look like New Jersey, basically, right? But as far as what I get to see and what most of you get to see, this there is nothing more more pretty, you know. There's other places just as you know, you go to Washington, you know, Utah, Oregon, you know. Oregon in particular can be very beautiful because of um, how much moisture they get there. A lot of rain, a lot of snow, and the weather's hot. So it becomes, some of their forests are just simply stunning and beautiful. I feel like the older they are, the more water that's around, the, the, the more wildlife's going to be there, the more beautiful they become, the more, the more balanced the ecosystem is. That's the series. I want to walk over there with my camera one day. Right there. That's a series. 
this spot. I just saw something. I think it was my camera, but I'm not sure. Just in case it was right there, I saw something. My camera was like flickering though too, I wasn't sure. Yeah, so they know, even if there was a hundred of them by the time I pulled off, turned my bike off, took my hat, it doesn't take, they're not you. Even if that was you, you could have done it. They're, they do things differently than us. It's all so fast. There's, there's some kind of knowing, you know. That's another thing I, I would think I was going to continue, so I, wanted, I meant to say earlier, is there's some kind of knowing factor involved. Oh, I was saying down there. There's some kind of knowing factor. Like they have human, there's a human radar in place in these in these places like this um like i like i said i can't explain some of the videos that people have they're just random one in a trillions there was probably a logic like a logical explanation why he was in that particular situation most of the time it's not that and they know you're there i can zoom on him from a, a mile and a half away and he's looking right at me <laughs> like they they know you know they, well, the only thing I, I have to go on with that is he told me you know he said, Mark, everything, he said, no zap, energy, everything, energy. He didn't say some things, everything. So I have a feeling the way they know everything, just, you know, that doesn't really help you, is, is based on we are, anybody, anything breathing on this earth is connected to that an amazing life force of energy that didn't just start by accident. That's a long time. <coughs> Look at that. All right, so this is it. So I go up, I don't know if I showed it or not yet. Whoa. Something's going on. There's a seat right there. Look how clean it is. Whenever it's clean and smooth, it's active, blatant. So I don't know, I forgot what I was saying. I don't know if I said it or not. There's this, oh yeah, there's an old forest up top. That's so unbelievable from like five, 10 miles away. I'm just showing this because it looks like if you like squint your eyes, like there is a big black being with a neck there. But I believe it's just the bushes make and then it's, it's actually a pine tree behind but man does it look like you know and, and of course i'm standing on a pretty i'm standing on an x on the ground with two leaners and a, and a strange rock but i don't think it's anything i just know it's good yeah see look here's an unaccessible old logging trail that never came back really because it's all rocks underneath when i say old i'm talking like 40 years ago and it doesn't look like they looks like then they were picking and choosing like they would you know leave a tree take a tree leave a tree take a tree that's what it should do they should do it they shouldn't just gut an entire forest you know it's all about nothing else except profit and money nothing to do with our earth not a care for our earth when is this going to be fixed when is someone going to do anything Never. You, you think someone else is going to do it. This video is just a bunch of different stuff from even today and yesterday. Just like I've been trying to get to a couple of really difficult places. And man, does it take, it's time consuming just to check it out. Like just to get there and then I might have to walk a mile or two, you know, just to see if I can come back for the day. You know, so that's kind of what I'm doing here. You guys see how that... That forest is so much higher than the rest of it. Look, at a distance, it's just unbelievable. Sorry, it's hard to hold it steady when you're really trying to catch your breath. There he is. He's probably wondering if I'm going to make it up there or not. That's the spot right there. Right there, it looks like China. It looks like a forest in China. There's nothing like that anywhere around. Everything's perfectly uniform. Yet over at the behind me, as you get to the top, the trees are twice as tall. Let's see if we can penetrate these aspens. Nope. I 
I'm just taking this for the for the visuals. It's so such a forest Sasquatch, Sasquatch Highway. <laughs> not from people. There is not the closest hiking trail from here is at the bottom, about 15 miles from here. Actually, it's like 12 or 13 miles. I round off and then I I want to fix it because. There's detectives out there, and I want to keep. I want to always keep my my information accurate. At the beginning, I used to. Dan told me he'd like. He's like, you're really honest, but just he goes, if I were you, instead of saying you walk two miles, I would say you walk three or or one. Don't stop giving the exact directions. And I was like, yeah, you're probably right. But I realized that doesn't matter, so I try to be as accurate as I can. Let's go look in here. So everything leads me to that, that older forest above. I'll be back to walk all the way up there, but from a couple miles that way. Here, here's an, this isn't even close to as gutted as the forest I showed you at the beginning of the spring, but it gives you an idea that 40, 50 years later, it never looks the same. It's completely just, lifeless basically and destroyed even 40 or 50 years later and I think that's a long time I mean well in 500 years this be okay yeah but you know I don't know that's a lot of years there and I guess we need Superman to be born that's what we need is like a someone like that like some superhero to be born that just fixes everything Superman <laughs> Superman, where are you? Just came back to the bike. I passed the spot on the way in. These others are just going crazy. Look at the X they market with. That's how you know. It's not whether, no matter what we think it is, it's they tell you what it is. Like, look, you guys were, were conditioned to believe this, but I'm this X is here to tell you that don't think like that anymore. Okay? Look, they're already starting. There's, there's, there's the one of the holes full, filled. There's another one, stockpile. To see stock, but fresh stockpile like that is pretty cool. And then you'll see here where they're starting to, they'll make them in here, they start to cover them up. Look at that spot. I mean, it's really being uh, raked down too. You can see where they actually push down the big piles. And that's why it gets to be so big and wide. Most of them are taught to like fix the pile. <clears throat> and then once in a while, you know, I, I, where I feel like no one has been in a long, long, or ever, Probably, you know, they, they just, you'll find this eight foot pile where they just never been, they didn't get the memo, I guess. Some days are too. But like I, you guys, I really had to work to get up here, but the, this is nothing compared to what I was coming up. I had no choice. I turned the corner, I'm on it. So I just kept going. Cause I want to get to the top of this. There's, there's not much going on in here. I think there's something happening down by that river. You know, some, some spot of the other, I, I give up, I don't care. I used to jump in there and be like, look at this. It just, it's not going to amount to anything, so I'm not doing it. One thing I am going to do is take advantage of this view I have into a Bigfoot world I know of, which is right there. This is the only place. It's so hard to get here. Are they going to be standing there? Probably not. You'll see all their stuff. Maybe. Probably attached to like a tree or something. Believe me, they're right there. Whenever you see the shark, I didn't know that. It took me till like yesterday. Almost like in those world, the big worlds. That's all a giant world. In fact, the best of it, you can't you can't see. It's in that thick canopy right there. It's so good right there. And man, is it brutal to get there. All up. So I guess I'm not going to do that. So this corner looks pretty tried and ended up over here. See a white face on you. In there, I can't zoom on it, but it's right in there.
How could that be? I mean, even if it's something else, like the fact that there's a white face with his mouth open, like he's, you know, they freeze, by the way. Believe me, when I was looking at the one in the V-tree and he was zapping me, he didn't move at all, you know, but here I am as a human with common sense expecting he has to move. But what, where is that knowledge coming from? Nowhere. I have no knowledge. That's what people have to understand. You have no knowledge of anything other than driving your kids to school over now. I think these places, I think the whole earth, including the desert and things like that, even when we can't see it, are all, it's all used. Nothing's wasted. And you'll, you can see here, like in a place I was really not really happy with, you know, but you can see how decorated, if you look very closely, it's all little people. See, little, there's an X right there. Right here, it's just really good. The rock is just sitting there. And then you got your, like I see, I filmed this on a hundred foot scale, and there it is on a four foot scale. Ground glyphs right there. And it all leads, there's a trident sticking out right there, up into these aspen and these bushes. And I, so far, I'm not interested in, unless it's an aspen forest like that, that connects into a beautiful pine forest, then I'm very interested in it. Which is kind of what this is, but I'm too far away from the regular forest. So I can't explain that. You know as much about these guys as me. I have no idea. I can, I don't think anyone else would have seen that, to be honest with you. <laughs> but, but, uh, see this is suspicious, this whole thing right here. For all this right here. And something looks like these trees are from those three right there way up there. Ellen, I brought Bella for good luck. It's a, it's, it's a day out, day off from out in the forest, not a day off, just a day not filming. I was gonna be, but we uh, lost a close member to our family yesterday, last night. So I woke up to that. It just kind of threw me off today, and then I'm, so I'm just doing stuff around. But I took Bella to get Wendy's. She's had her first Wendy's cheeseburger. She is so happy. Look at her, she's so spoiled. Look, she's tired. She fights there, she won't nap. She's supposed to be napping. Look, look, she's falling asleep. Look, look. Good girl, Bell Bell. You my baby. Who my baby. So, this is why I'm here. I, I did this on the bike. I just want to hold it. I, I don't like this angle. I want to zoom in that way so I can get in a deeper view, but I unfortunately don't have a place to park. This is my only way. So I just want to hold it a little bit better. We'll take a look up here too, just like anywhere we can. I don't expect to see too much else because they don't really, they just come out, you know. Look, look how it's all dirt. That whole area is dirt. Is it normal because water runs off, maybe? That's the main place up there. I actually got a really clear view up there today. People like this, if you're wondering, like, well, he didn't see anything. Why is he showing this to us? People ask me all the time. Please, more zooming. And I'm like, ugh. Because I can't see everything. I'm not a, I'm not a, you know, I don't, I can't, I don't have, to, you know, I rely on other people. You'd be surprised at what we've seen and learned. Remember, we're out as a team together, not, not to do anything for the world. It's, it's, uh, the world is a lost cause in every aspect, in every possible way. It's going to have to implode one day, unfortunately. I hope not, but as long as people have different points of views, it'll always be that way. And as long as you give free will, I mean, free will, fine. But like, as far as like free will on what to believe and think, that's the big mistake is letting people believe whether there's God or not, letting them believe in different gods. This is the biggest mistake ever made. I don't care if it's a test of faith or not. Look how, how bizarre that is, you guys. How could that be? 
Now keep in mind, it was, look, I, I got the backup of the people that were here. He's like, I've never seen that. He's here every day, right? So you just have to trust me. I know because I stare at this for the last four or five years I've stared at that. You guys realize how tall that is? If you were standing there, you, you you might not come up to that first little see a little a little rock sticking out. Your head would just barely touch that. So think about how tall that is. That's 30, 30 feet tall. Some at least it's a gigantic thing. You guys, there should be rocks there. There should be. Remember, it's not a mine. You got to get off the logic. It's killing me. You you literally are going to kill me. You're killing me. Day, night, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I think the night is, it's a little bit, yeah, that was a breather I saw. I called it a breather. I think it's definitely wasn't a shadow. It's still there. There's no shadows there today. Well, does that mean they'll just be standing there? Yeah, sometimes. I think a lot of times they'll just, they, they position in so that they'll, believe it or not, so we want to see Patty, but believe it or not, they'll go sit right in a spot like that and not move. That's why mo that's what most of it is. That's why you don't see Patty's walking around all over the place. That's a, a one in a trillion situation. It was a rare whatever was happening was a very rare situation. And remember, there's a whole story there that you don't know about. I do. Okay? There 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 was guns involved and shootings and all kinds of stuff before that footage was shot. Okay? People know nothing and I'm getting a little bit it's getting a little bit old to be honest with you. It makes you not want to be involved. Like, I don't want to be, I don't want to deal with people in any way, shape, or form. I don't want that to be my job. Yeah, people that I'm dealing with now, yes, I love them, which is you. <laughs> I'm talking in third person to you, about you. But, uh, yeah, I love them. You guys are the best. I love them. You are the best. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, I noticed that, too. Okay, so, so check this out. Is that so big? It's never been there before. They must know I'm doing it. I see some shadows in there. That's why I'm holding them. I'm just trying to see if anything changes. Because that's what you'll see. You'll see. You can see moving shadows, things like that. They're not that concerned with that. It's more of like any blatant evidence. Right here, I noticed it looked interesting. Like, I think that's a hangout right there. See how the big rock just comes, just like balanced straight out right there? And then the tree shoots out from it. That whole, that's all of them right there. There's like a, there's like a made wall. That's structures, believe it or not. So what you see there, let's just pretend whether it is or isn't theirs, let's just assume it is. That's what it looks like. And they don't need the structure. So you'll see all the trees around it are gonna look a little weird, but it's all in the rocks. So they don't need an X, they don't need, they might put it there anyway, but they don't really need it. What is that? Why is there always some being, like, frozen? The rocks are the structures. The rocks are the energy. They are connected. I see them dig their seats down next to trees so they're connected to the roots. That was, she sound asleep. A lot of people thought, you know, because uh, they they could also be these rocks as well. You see the rocks, like they can just come out and be not Bigfoot, but other things that live in the like they could, whatever that is right there can be them sunning, and you'll never know of the difference. Why? Because you were taught to be what sensible, logical. Responsible, a vegetable, nothing more. Hard to get these guys, but I want to just try. They're so hidden in there. But it's also a place where they don't have much time. The way I do it, it's, I mean, unless there's someone I don't understand, but I can't really see in there today. But I, I've gotten them this way so good. That's where the drone got them, you guys, up there. It was right up in there. They were all the way on the backside, hiding. That's what they did when I was in there, and they went. Remember, I was when I was up there. It took me hours to get up there. Hours, you guys. It's straight up. And then I filmed 
way over there and I got those uh, floating rocks in front of the cave. Let's see if we can... That's why I pulled in here, actually. That's something I do at least four times a year. Is zoom right to here. I also want to see if I can see that cave from here. I don't think so. The only way to see those floating rocks is to uh, be equivalent, like equal height with them. With them. These zooms are so good. Remember, I have I have a, a, we have a we lost a close friend of ours, our families, the best the best closest friend we've ever had. My dad's ultimate best friend. My dad's two best friends now have died. They were all three best friends. And it's just terrible. BJ is a speaker, Christian speaker. He's one of the coolest guys you could ever imagine. My dad and him used to chaplain for professional football teams. My dad, they so they would bet like almost like have bets. So my dad would be like doing the visitor team, and BJ would be doing like the New York Giants or something. And uh, they, whoever won the game did the best preaching. <laughs> They had there, so even the pastors are betting in a way, like you know, just a gentleman's bet, you know. But they, they'll, they'll, as a joke, but it's kind of it kind of becomes real after a while. Like they believe if whoever won that game, they did the best sermon. Look at that! Looks like a dude's just right coming right out of there, right there. That's how they do it. They they have these, they come, they use rocks. It's I just want to remind you guys, it's a lot of what they do is I, I swear I see him in there. Is uh. completely uh, different than what you might think. You see how that hole's in that rock? It's just too weird looking, right? All these rocks are too weird looking. That's a face. It's positioned. Face, face, face. Look at the faces. Alright, let's see if we can see. What do you want? Who's my bet? Oh, excuse me. Forgive me, you guys. Who's my Bella? Who's my Bella? Who's Bella? Look at her. You guys, she can dive into the mud, right? And be completely covered. As soon as she drives off, that's what she looks like. I don't know how it all comes off her. She's such a good girl. Bella's such a good girl. Yeah, I'm not saying good boy. See, you can't say anything like that. These zooms are so important. Now keep in mind, if this is boring you, that's fine. I mean, I, you can turn it off. I'm just saying that this is, I'm zooming on places where rocks float, where every, where there's statues of ancient beings that aren't ancient, where we have filmed them before. So we just like to take some shots like this once in a while. I do a video. People have been asking me a lot lately, Mark, I want more zooms. So I was like, okay, because it's, I don't do it a lot because I know the majority of people aren't really, it's not a, like, you know, I guess you wouldn't mind seeing that. Like it's it basically that Stonehenge laid out. It's just a different type. Nothing bouncing, but it's all been laid out there. So every one of those rocks has been positioned and is more unique. Each one is more unique than any rock you'd be able to go find in your own town right now. Go find me a rock more unique than that right now. You won't, it won't happen because they, Pick them out and put them there for for a very special reason. It's so hot over there too. Like maybe these guys are in the forest. They have the best forest across. So if you come down, right through all this, come down over here and then go into that forest. Not right here, but like way over there, like which is like two three miles from here, and you go into the forest. It's simply outstanding. In fact, there's a, a secret place in there. It's very secret. Trust me. It took me years to realize it was there. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta get in there. I did make an attempt at the beginning of the year. I have no idea where I go with that this shit. It just comes out. There it is. I think it's just the way the rock is there. It looks like a big teddy bear. Whatever that is, it has to do with them. They made that like that. That's like a place they come out. That's huge. You guys, whatever that is, that's huge. Like if you were standing in front, like on that little ledge, you would barely come up to the table there. Whatever that is, that little 
for lack of better terms. Look at that, how unique that is up there. That's enough. Real. It might be just doing to myself, but. Real vibe not to give up yet on over here. Even though it's, I have no angle. The guy in the pole up here. I was like, I forget. I was. I think I was in the car, but I was zooming up to there from over there. So I was. It's a better view into the forest. And I got him. He was sitting on a pole. I forget what I called him. The pole guy or something. The pole something. Oh, the what's it called? I made I, I call them nicknames or something. That's why it's hard you don't see because they're not just walking around in there either usually. Like they will, but not as not that much. They're just gonna be in those those spots they make. It's 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 part of the whole thing. It's how it's part of how they're so successful. There's a technique involved in how they went what they can do and what they are doing while they're here. That they're Hold on. You know what I mean? They're, 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 I'm telling you, they're coming from, I think, underground. But, like I said, you got to keep in mind that, you know, we're way off. Like, there's different times and futures and existence and universes. And we, we might, it might be so far. We might be so far off on what it really is. I have a feeling that we can't, we have trouble understanding it. There's things out here that humans cannot see. Like they will not let you see. They, Cause they know you, you can't, you wouldn't be able to process it. This is the first noise all day. And it's like, it's going, I'm like, come on you guys. You can give me something. And that started happening. Hey, hey, buddy. Where is he? Good boy. I can see you. You're not hiding. <laughs> he just ran. He's right there. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? He's so interested in me. Let me see if I can feed him. Give me a second. So he's still right there. He's on the side of the tree. It's just that I put, uh, Lorelei left me Pop-Tarts. Pop, pop, pop Pop-Tart bites, they're like new. They're pretty good, see this? So there's a whole bag of them right there somewhere. And he watched me put every single one out. He's still there, he's right there. He wants it so bad, he's waiting for me to get a little further away. He's such a cool guy. See? That's what she said. 